Do you want full upper body and elbow tracking inside a virtual desktop to use with PC VR games? Well, I'm gonna show you how. The best part is if you already own virtual desktop, it's completely free. It's completely built into the software. If you wanna skip the yapping, go here. But basically, I made a new tutorial for this because the one that I made is a little outdated. One, it is no longer in beta, which means it's a actual feature now. And two, uh, I forgot. And two, there was a few things in there that I got wrong and I just feel like this video could have been better. So that's why this is a new video. But the the regular one is still viable to use. There's just a few things in there that aren't uh, up to date. Anyways, enough yapping. Let's get into the video. Now there's a few things you need to know before we start. You're gonna need a Quest 3. This will not work on Quest 2. This will not work on Quest 1. You're gonna need a Quest 3. This is like literally necessary. You can't do this without a Quest 3. And you need Virtual Desktop. Virtual Desktop is the software that allows you to stream PC VR directly to your VR headset and will be the main method of using elbow tracking and upper body tracking. And lastly, you're gonna need track. Nah, I'm just playing. You're not gonna need track because it's all gonna be built into the headset. And that's it, that's really all you need. Now, we're gonna talk about how to actually do this. Now, assuming you already have set up virtual desktop, you're gonna wanna go straight into the streaming section of the settings. Inside of there, you're gonna see forward tracking data or something like that. You're gonna enable that, it's gonna have a little pop-up, you're gonna press yes, and you're gonna press emulate Steam VR trackers. That is what's gonna help you track your elbows, your legs, and your upper body. Now know that the leg tracking doesn't actually track your legs like full body tracking. Basically, it will track when you're walking and it'll actually allow you to lie down and have it look normal, but it won't track things like kicking, raising your leg up, etc. It doesn't actually track your legs, it just estimates where it would be. As far as your elbow tracking, it actually will track your proper elbow, which means if I were to move my elbow, it would track that elbow precisely to where it would be. Next, you're gonna wanna load up any Steam VR game that has full body tracking, and my game of choice is gonna be VR Chat. All right, inside VR Chat, we're gonna go ahead and hit calibrate full body tracking. We're gonna go ahead and do a T pose, hold your arms out straight, boom, trigger. There we go. As you can see, we now have the tracking on. We can move our elbow. Look at that. That that is full elbow tracking right there, boys. Like I can I could do that one. Like I'm trying to keep my arm as still as possible, but man is it, it's tracking my elbows, boys. It, it's tracking it's tracking my elbows. Here's what it's like to walk without the Steam VR tracker emulation. As you see, kind of walking it's kind of it's, it doesn't look that great it's just kind of like shimmy stepping around which obviously, obviously doesn't look great we're gonna go ahead and sit down as you see i'm on my knees right now i'm on my actually just one knee if i sit it has me uh it, it thinks i'm doing this bend lean which it, it thinks i'm leaning over which i'm not i'm actually sitting crisscross apples out i'm a lean on my back as you can see, this is what it looks like if I lean on my back. It looks weird. Uh, yeah, no. Let me get up. <laughs> yeah, that looked really... Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do the trackers. Boom. Trackers are enabled, as you can see. There is our elbow, as you can see. It tracks my elbows. And everything else in my arms. Now we're gonna go ahead and walk. It looks much more natural, even though it's not perfect. It still looks a lot better than the VR chat shimmy step, which I think it looks so much, so much better. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and sit down. As you can see, I'm sitting down, crisscross applesauce right now, and it actually looks like I'm sitting. We're going to lay down on our back. As you can see, we're actually laying down on our back. Right now, I'm sitting, I'm leaned up against my bed right now, and this is what it looks like if you're sitting next or against something in real life. It looks pretty natural for the most part, which is pretty cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and get up. Still looks a little goofy, but it still looks better than VR Chat's little shimmy step that they like to do. Also, I'm gonna show you, you actually properly bend down. 
Stop. I'm a guy. But as you can see, it looks natural when leaning over. It doesn't actually do that weird little thing that uh, it does where if you try and lean, your legs go with you too. So it actually looks like when you're bending over, it can actually do that. So you can like properly. Like that's pretty cool. Come on. I mean, I can even kind of lean around corners here. I can equally distribute weight and you can see kind of my upper body kind of like moving a little bit, which is pretty cool. Now, some people asked if I can combine trackers with this, and I believe you can. You just have to disable certain trackers in the Steam VR menu. I think you can do this with my Joy-Con tracker method, which is going to be linked down in the description and right there. You can actually view it there, and I believe you can actually uh, combine the two. So, if anybody tries that, let me know how it goes. Well, that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and if you want to support me, you could always join my membership, or just in general, you could just subscribe or buy me a coffee at my coffee link. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.